Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first video of 2024. To celebrate 2024, we are going to solve a question full of 2024. Don't worry, because the solution is actually very very easy. First, let's label the question Q as equation 1. Then, apply interval inverting strategy. Change the x become the sum of the integration bounds minus x. In our case, sum of integration bound is 0. So therefore, x change to negative x. dx change to negative dx. For the integration bound, pi over 2 change to negative pi over 2. Negative pi over 2 change to pi over 2. Cosine x become cosine negative x, which is we know equals to cosine x. On the other hand, sine x becomes sine negative x, which is equal to negative sine x. Don't worry about the negative sine x, because sine power 2024x, it will become the same as the sine power 2024x. From here, you can see that the trigonometry part of the integrand, which is fx, is actually equal to f negative x which means the trigonometry part is actually the even functions. We need this information later. On the other hand, 2024 power sine x divided by 1 plus 2024 power sine x become 2024 power negative sine x and then divide by 1 plus 2024 power negative sine x which is equal to 1 divide by 2024 power sine x and then plus 1 which means q become integral pi over 2 to negative pi over 2 for the integrand numerator is cosine power 2024x while the denominator is 2024 power sine x plus 1 and then multiply cosine power 2024x plus sine power 2024x. Don't forget to multiply negative dx. Of course, we can cancel the negative by swapping the integration bound. Label this as equation 2. Remember the original question Q which is equation 1. Copy here, put it side by side. We are going to apply equation 1 plus equation 2. Left hand side become 2q, while the right hand side is integral negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. For the integrand, numerator is cosine power 2024x, while the denominator is cosine power 2024x plus sine power 2024x. Don't forget the dx. Of course, we can multiply both left hand side and right hand side with 1 over 2. Now the integrand become purely trigonometry function which is the fx in our previous discussion which is equal to negative fx which is an even function. In addition, the integration bounds is symmetry. Therefore, we can simplify the equation q by changing the integration bound from 0 to pi over 2 but the whole thing multiply with 2. Of course, the 2 will cancel off with the original 1 over 2. Label it as equation 3. Apply another interval inverting strategy. Change the x become pi over 2 minus x. Therefore, dx become negative dx. Pi over 2 becomes 0. 0 become pi over 2. Meanwhile, cosine x become cosine pi over 2 minus x, which is equal to sine x. While sine x become sine pi over 2 minus x which is equal to cosine x put all the new info together we obtain q equals to integral pi over 2 to 0 the integrand is sine power 2024x divided by cosine power 2024x plus sine power 2024x and then multiply negative dx Again, we can cancel the negative by swapping the integration bound. Label this as equation 4. Let's sum out equation 3 and 4. We have 2q in the left hand side equals to the right hand side integral 0 to pi over 2, 1 dx. This is very easy. Everybody can solve it. 
So Q is equals to 1 over 2 multiplied pi over 2. Conclusion of this video, we obtain the final answer of this question equals to pi over 4. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please continue support my channel. Give a like, subscribe and share my video with others. See you soon for my next video. Bye-bye.